you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walking in the dark means that I don't expose everything to him. I don't lay it all out. I pretend with God. It's really a silly thing when you think of it, isn't it? Almost like me pretending with my wife, except worse. I mean, she knows me. Now, Christian, this is something that is absolutely essential. Please get this. I will never be what God wants me to be as long as I pretend to be what I am not. I'll never forget the day I discovered that God uses chickens to witness if chickens will be honest with him. You see? I kept wishing I was like somebody else. I, I knew Bill Pell, and he started witnessing when he was eight years old, and he told us that he never remembered a moment in his life when he was afraid to witness for the Lord Jesus. Witness to everybody. And I wished I was like that, so I used to pretend I was. <laughs> and it didn't work. Because... Christianity means you don't have to pretend anything. You can be a really with God, see. What we tend to do after we fail is that we just bring the good stuff, you know? Say, well, God, let's see. Well, he'd want this. Yes, okay, well, I'll give him this. And he'd want this, but he certainly wouldn't want this. So I'll just keep that one. And God says, wait a minute. I can't put you back together unless you bring me all the pieces. I want you to bring everything to me, casting all your care upon him and confess your sin to him. Bring your failure, bring everything you are to him and lay it all out there and say, Lord, I don't know what you can do with all this, but here it is. That's what it means to walk in light, you see. And so come into the presence of God and say, Oh God, can you use a chicken? Here's one available anytime you want to use me. God will do it, you know, because he's done it with me many a time. Look at the people God used in the Bible. He used a bunch of misfits, didn't he? God wants us to be honest with him. We don't pretend things. And if we fail, call it failure. And then just go on with God. Don't be so shocked by failure, because that's what we are, a bunch of poor failures that God has taken and going to use for his glory.